Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for my top 10 young centre backs to buy on FIFA 15 career mode. But before we get into the video proper, I'd just like to say something, uh, for those guys who aren't fussed, there should be an annotation on the screen, click that and it'll take you to the start of the video proper. But still, uh, recently I hit 1,500 subscribers, it's absolutely awesome, the growth and support recently has been absolutely insane. So I talked about what video, uh, what sorry, what video you guys would want uh, for 1,500 subscribers, a lot of you wanted a QA, and a so I'll be doing a QA and a for this milestone. Uh, next Tuesday. Um, I'll also be doing some videos with subscribers as well, with something that you guys wanted, so pro clubs with subs, uh, and sprint mode open lobbies as well on F1 2014, as well as some live streaming, so Google Hangouts, and all that sort of thing as well in the future, but for now, I will be doing a Q&A, because that's what the majority of people wanted. Uh, to ask me questions, tweet me, uh, my Twitter link will be in the description below, uh, you can use my Ask FM. that link will be in the description below, and you can also uh, ask your comment in any video between now and next Tuesday. Tuesday, but still, or ask your question, I think I said ask your comment, but now we're going to get into the video proper. So here we are, starting at number 10 with Terence Congolo, the Fire Nord centre-back, 74 stat, this guy, this guy, now I've actually tested this as well, this guy is actually really, really cheap, you can get him for about 3 to 4 million pounds, 74 stat, he's got I think 83 potential, 92 jumping, really quite quick as well, 79 sprint speed for a centre-back is pretty decent, can play as a left-back, he's from the Netherlands, 20 years of age, uh, 4 star week for two star skill moves but really awesome defensive stats like stand tackle slide tackling marking inceptions really good jumping and also a bit of speed so he's certainly a dark horse i would actually really consider getting him if i were you but now moving on to number nine a much younger player 18 years of old this is uh, years of age even this is jonathan tar or tuna dusseldorf center back now obviously he's actually on loan from hamburg so you can't get him in the first season a uh, really good strength he's actually got the strength speciality at 18 which is absolutely ridiculous but really good marking good heading accuracy good stun tackle decent speed and really good strength decent jumping as well he's from germany center back uh, there three star weak foot two star skills and 18 years of age 68 stat when the game starts and 83 potential much like congolo before him i do suppose but still we will now move on to number eight and this is chancel umbemba what a tank this guy looks like. He looks as if he'd stab you with a pillow. He just looks so angry, but still he plays for Anderlecht. 73 stat there, the centre-back. 80 sprint speed. That's absolutely insane, but uh, crucially, he's got strength as well. So strength, speed, good heading accuracy, good marking, stun tackle, slide tackling, every, everything you would expect. Yellow ball control and dribbling, interestingly enough. He's from Congo, high attacking work rate, playing for Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League. 73 stat when the game starts, and 83 potential there, 19 years of age. He's just an absolute tank, absolutely awesome. I would certainly suggest getting him too. But now, moving on to number seven, and we've got Nicolas Sula, another player with 83 potential. I suppose you could argue that the last few have been equal seventh as opposed to where they actually are. But still, this guy, I suppose he's the bog standard centre back. Really quite slow, 64 sprint speed, 51 acceleration, but 90 strength. So we've got two specialities. Uh, one is the aerial threat, one is strength. Less said about his speed, probably the better, but I suppose that will improve quite drastically. Seeing as he's only 18 uh, years of age, 73 stat when the game starts, 83 potential. Uh, two specialities there, as you could see, as well as some pretty decent um, defensive stats there. I think 78 stand tackle, 75 sliding tackle, so not bad there. The German from the Bundesliga team, Hoffenheim. Now, at number six, we've got John Stones, the Everton centre-back. There's a huge amount of yellow on show on those physical stats, so I'm not going to go through all of those. But overall, overall he's quite a well-rounded centre-back. Decent speed, weirdly quite decent agility, balance and ball control for a centre-back. Uh, also relatively versatile, he can play as a right-back too. From England, 20 years of age, of course, playing for Everton. Another player, 73 stat, would you believe? High attacking work rate there. Two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves, of course, can play as a right-back too. And relatively pacey to say his age. But now... Now moving on to number five, and we have got Kurt Zuma, another just beastly looking person in general, but this guy, of course, recently signed from St. Etienne. I think you can get him in the first season uh, from Chelsea, of course, which is his current team. 74 stat at the moment, 84 jumping, 85 strength. Really quite good sprint speed as well for a centre-back. Really good slide tackle, stand tackle, heading accuracy as well. Can also play as a right-back, 19 years of age, from France. Three-star weak foot, two-star skills, no specialities, but what a player he looks like. And will develop into an absolute tank, I'd have thought, when he reaches his potential. But now, moving on to number four, we've actually got Doria. The only guy without a face, it would appear, and he's actually 76 stats. So I don't know how he hasn't got a face. I don't know how he's not on Ultimate Team. I don't know how EA have failed to put him on Ultimate Team when he's 76 stats. That's ridiculous. 80 strength, though. Really good heading accuracy, so he's a bit of, somewhat of an aerial threat, I suppose. Decent jumping as well to go along with that, as well as sliding tackle, standing tackle. 19 years of age, Brazilian, playing for Marseille in Ligue 1. 
Uh, he's got, I think, 84 potential, 85 potential, low attacking work rate, but high defensive work rate. I suppose that's all that counts, really, when you're a centre-back. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, but unfortunately quite unbearably slow. And a few traits I don't particularly like in his characteristic, but still very good potential. But now, moving on to number three. This is Matthias Ginter, the 77 stat player from Borussia Dortmund. Awesome strength, awesome inceptions and stand tackling. More of us, I, I don't I don't want to say mental player because that would, uh, that would sound as if I'm calling him crazy, but someone whose mental stats are a lot better than his physical being speed and stuff. He'll read the game a little bit more than someone who's just outstandingly quick. Very versatile, centre-back, centre-defensive mid and centre-mid. German playing for Borussia Dortmund, 20 years of age, with three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. 77 stat when the game starts at number, at number two though now. If I could finally just calm down, slow down and get my words out, we've got Marquinhos, the centre-back from Paris Saint-Germain. Yet another Brazilian playing in France, would you believe? Uh, really quite quick, again, uh, decent marking, sliding tackle, well, more than decent, very good sliding tackle, marking, stand tackling, interceptions, aggression and jumping as well. A pretty overall very balanced centre-back, almost a complete centre-back, 78 stats, 20 years of age, ridiculous potential, don't even go there, it's something like 86, 87, they're the Brazilian. Playing for Paris Saint-Germain, awesome player, but at number one, we have got Imeric Laporte and this guy, this guy, he's got like 88 potential, it's ridiculous, he starts at 81, flew under the radar, I don't particularly watch the, the La Liga too often, so I wouldn't have seen him play, he's playing for Atletico Bilbao though at the moment, French actually, 81 stat, awesome jumping, awesome strength, awesome interceptions, heading accuracy, stand tackling, marking, sliding tackling, everything you would expect from a defender, medium attacking and defensive work rate, left footed, the centre back, French of course, 20 years of age, and two star weak foot and two star skill, so a very deserved Deserving winner there being Imeric Laporte, absolutely awesome player, just absolutely ridiculous and I, I feel as if that's where I can end the video now, obviously it would be after number one, that was a stupid statement but still, I really hope you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you did, comment with your questions for my Q&A, feel free to tweet me and ask me on AskFM as well, that will also work, I might set up a hashtag on Twitter uh, to ask me, I'll give you guys a week to ask all of your questions and I will be really looking forward to to hearing your questions and hopefully answering them this time next week. So, I hope you really enjoyed. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.